And yeah, last for this uh, onslaught of uh, hardware, <laughs> um, this one was actually really interesting to me. Um, yes, I don't know too. how how many people have these kind of setups, but this is um, the Device Bridge Pro Sector. Um, so it looks very similar to the uh, Air Max Light AP GPS. Mm -hmm. um, and just for scale, I mean, I think these things are, I don't have the dimensions in front of me, but I think it's like a foot tall. Um, so if it's like 12 inches high four or five inches wide like it's a large ap one second um, i have one you, one you have one? Yep. Oh, nice but yeah while alex is running to go get that um yeah it's it's very similar to the air max light ap and what this uh, device does it, it's a 90 degree antenna and um you can connect up to 40 device bridge pro clients um up to three miles away or five kilometers we got a live show and tell there we go so that's the light ap gps my hand for scale yeah. So it's exactly the same size as this one. So not massive, but it's... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, and I I remember the first time I, I used one of those things, I pulled it out of the box and was like, holy crap. Because, yeah, like you can't really tell scale super well in the store. Um, no. But, yes, those are large devices meant for installing on a roof or, or probably on a pole somewhere outdoors, kind of high up. Yeah. Um, and it's you can use it in a bunch of different ways, but they show it for, like, a remote security camera, um, you know, or a remote network location if you want to put, like, an access point at, like, an outbuilding, um, or you need to connect, you know, a, a whole host of cameras or something that covers a 90-degree, uh, you know, arc yep. um, up to five kilometers or three miles away. And mm -hmm. um, it does seem weird. It, it can't do 80 megahertz. You notice that? Yeah, so MX AC, which is obviously what this is, um, can do 2040, well, obviously, there's, there's weird ones like 30 and 60 as well, but it can go up to 80 megahertz, whereas this is limited to 20 and 40 um, for point to multipoint. I, I'd imagine, I'd imagine to sort of rein in people's choices, because uh, like um, instinctively there'd be less technical people using these devices versus Air Max. So if you get if you get where I'm going with that, so yes. it's sort of to. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, and it, uh, yeah, the fact that this, um, it seems like it's designed for a very easy solution. Oh, yeah. Um, the same way when we talk about the device bridge, where it's, yeah. if, if you're not a UISP person, if you're not on the network side and you just need to solve this problem, yeah. um, you know, being stuck with a 40 megahertz width channel makes this really good for remote security cameras. Or if oh, you got yeah, yeah, 10, yeah. 20, 30 cameras and it it's all pretty low bandwidth needs you just kind of need a lot of them um it wouldn't be the best if you're trying to get the most most bandwidth possible you'd need uh something else for that but well whenever I, at the wisp i used to work out whenever we did point to multi-point stuff with Amax, we'd always run it at a max of 40 megahertz well usually it'd be 20 but we sometimes we'd jump to 40 so we would run 20 megahertz channels on what we, what we were doing so that gives you some sort of context but um yeah and the big thing with this is it sim it simplifies the the PoE uh, aspect because there's stuff we do at a host of all the time where we're sort of consulting with people and on what hardware they should buy. And funny enough, one person the day was asking, "Can they do point to multipoint with UD uh, Unified Device Bridge Pros?" And we just said no because this hadn't this thing this new device hadn't come out yet, and it came out this week. Um, right. Now they can. Yeah, and it's it's. Yeah, it, it's given. I think we spoke about this a while back. It's given. It's simplifying the PoE standard of it because if you think you've got to have a converter for 24 volt PoE, then got to try and power something else up, and these are all 48 volt PoE and works really well. And then if you have got the device Bridge Pro at the end device, you can power up your cameras with it. So I think that's a really, really good idea. Um, it makes things a lot simpler. And if you're an MSP and doing building bridges between buildings or various things like they want to think one of the examples they get they gave was a gate camera so if you've got a really mm -hmm. really long driveway just put one of those at the end and problem solved so no i think that's i think it's great um it is pricey compared to the light ap so the light ap is 99 dollars and this one's 190 199 i think or 179 so yeah um you pay a little bit for premium for that but yeah i think that's good yeah, I mean, it's it seems like it's the reused enclosure from the Light AP GPS. Um, it's not cutting edge performance wise, but nope. it's a great, um, you know, low 
technical, <laughs> complex. <Yep. laughs> um, it, it, you know, it'll it'll solve a lot of problems for a lot of people. So it, it seems like a really nice product, um, and it kind of completes. Pro- I don't know if they'll have more device bridges in the future, but now that solution makes a lot more sense to me. Where you have the point to point option, you have a point to multi point option, and it's it's kind of plug and play, simple way to solve these kind of problems with uh, yeah. some radios. Yeah. 